get that itch. Hey everybody on YouTube, this is Super Nintendo, and welcome back to another episode of Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. Last time, we got two more of the of the treasure keys from Mugshot. We also learned that we're a Time Lord! Woo! We can move as fast as the Flash! Unfortunately, this also speeds up all the other enemies, so, you know, best to be aware of that. But, seriously, it's a really cool ability. This time, we are going to go find two more power keys. Back alley heist. Let's it go. Oh, is this the one I'm thinking of? No, this isn't the one I was thinking of. There's one of these levels that it legitimately took me like five times replaying the level before I found all the cool levels uh, on my more recent playthrough of that level. You know, one of the good things about having a crappy memory is, uh, you know, you can still be surprised by something you've played a thousand times. <laughs> That, or maybe it's being stupid. I don't know. <laughs> but as for this level, it's not super bad. Maybe it's super flat. <laughs> Whee! These guys are good. So, like uh, a lot of the other ones, you want to stay out of the spotlight as much as it is hard for somebody like me to stay out of the spotlight because I'm just so fantabulous. <laughs> this this is the type of shit that makes people think I have an ego. I, I really don't. I, I just say shit like that because I find it funny. You can die, sir. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. I knew that there were some clue bottles or something down here. No? Is there no clue bottles? Was I lied to? I wouldn't design an area like this for no reason. There has to be something here. At the very least, I can just fast forward through all of them. Do this much faster with the speed up thing, so. Huh, guess not. All right. Seriously, the speed up thing is probably one of my favorite abilities because like, I am kind of an impatient sort. <laughs> Possibly because I have OCD. And that has nothing to do with... That has seriously nothing to do with it, so... I am dumb. So, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to just... Sling yourself back, back and forth through the... I almost died. I almost fell to my doom. But it's just so much easier to do that. Like, that's what you're supposed to do. Oh, this one. No, I missed one. Damn it. Ah. Looks like I'm replaying this level at least once. Oh well. The levels in this game aren't all that long, so it's not a huge pain in the dick. <laughs> I mean, if it's something like Breath of the Wild, where it's a long-ass game, and I had a recording error that, you know, made it so I have to replay it. I missed two. No, there's one over there. Never mind. Where is 
I'll be back for you, Clue Bottle. Count on it! Do I have anyway? Thirty three lives. Jesus Christ. I have. I'm pretty sure we're not going to need that many, but you know, better safe than sorry. Like, I have not been grinding up lives after that first area. And how could the spotlight not see us there? Hey, look, it's me. I just noticed that I am I am a graffiti. Gotcha. Haha, <laughs> speed running tactics. Press the circle to enter the vault code. I could have broken this code in my sleep. The combination is five, six, five. Could have broken that code in your sleep? I wonder if Mugshot did it then. <laughs> you found the blueprints for Mugshot's additions to Mesa City. With these files, I'll be able to help you find all his clues and breakables. Just look through your binoculum to get the information. Oh, we are going to need that for at least one of the levels. So I don't think I showed this yet. After you grab the key, there's just a holographic marker here. So you just gotta jump into it. And I guess Bentley teleports you away? I don't know. Considering what the dude makes later in the series, a, a teleporter doesn't seem out of the ordinary. Also, god damn the frame rate. Why is it so bad there? Straight to the top. Well, considering the last game I played was Sonic Adventure before this, that is one of the lyrics of Sonic's theme, so I'm happy to oblige. Oh, crap. This is the level I was thinking of. The the one that I had to replay like five times before I found all the clue bottles. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> yeah, the clue bottles in this area are hidden in really jerkish places because this is easily the most open area in the game. So, you know, don't get used to stiff. I know they look like you can't climb on them, but with your thieving skills, I bet you can pull it off. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Also, how the hell is that thing? Forget it. Your cane will never smash that thick glass. You'll need something super heavy, like that big wrecky ball up there. Also, how the hell is this thing just floating in midair? I would very much like to know. All right, because it's a mini game. Duh. <laughs> Whoa. Jeez, Sly. This car is upside down! <laughs> I love how all these cars are just conveniently above dogs. Trying to be very vigilant here because I do not want to uh, 
replay the, any of the levels like five times because that's going to be in the day. Okay, there are two blue bottles over here. Is there any more over here? There is. I see them and they are over here. Alright, I think that might be all of them on this ground-ish floor, so let's go. And the frame rate is twitching. I am mincing my words. Alright. Sorry if it sounds like I have just nothing to talk about. It's just I'm kind of focused on trying to get all the clue bottles. And. Timber! <laughs> I didn't break your stuff. Okay, maybe I did. I don't remember. <laughs> I love just being an asshole. Seriously, being being an asshole is probably one of the greatest privileges and joys of life. It really is. <laughs> Ow! Dick, I could not see you there. Are you aware of the time, Batman? No, 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 he climbs things like a raccoon, even though he is a raccoon. Slykoopa, Slykoopa. I got a voice or message for the two minute thing who's making off with all my treasure keys. You dead, Pally. If I get my hands on you, I'm gonna fit you with your own pair of cement buddy slippers. You hear me? You lunch fake, joint! notes pertaining to water safety. With this knowledge under your belt, you won't have to waste a charm whenever you fall into water. I don't know if this is a perpetual fix to falling in water, but it at least fixes the first time. I didn't do it. You can't prove it was me. All right. 
So I think that will do it for this episode. So next time on Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus, we go after the final key and take on Mugshot himself. See you guys then. I'm gonna bully these dogs. <laughs>